to my channel today's video will be awesome as i'm about to show you tips on how to manage your time and how to save your time things you have to do for time management if you have less time and you are trying to manage your time as a student either you are a student or a worker or freelance you rent a service on the internet whatever you do this is a perfect time for you to watch this video on how to manage your time you can equally get extra 50% of time from the from the one you have now if you follow each tips I give you on this video and here on this video I'll give you 15 tips to apply to your own daily activities and this will actually help you if you take them seriously so before we go into the main video let me try and give you an example or illustration for you to understand why you need to manage your time or the reason why people are now taking time management so seriously why they place it on their own activities they do it all the time why people always stick to the time every day of their life so now i'm here to tell the reason why people are, are making use of time management time planning on how to be productive and effective during their own daily activities so let me make it quite easy for you so there are two major categories of things that we usually do during our daily activities whether we like it or not we must fall into one of them and they are good and they are still bad and from the good we we, we are successful we gain from them and from the bad side of it we like we learn from them we learn not to make that kind of mistake again that's why we push in time management as a main character you know, you, you like you know we are all human whether we like it or not we all always spend our time on different things trying what we work at for us even though we have something that we keep on doing constantly we always try going over again over again finding new things that will make life easier for us in which they invented technology also so in this process of our daily activities either you are a trader if you buy new if you buy new goods and you spend the money on it why buying it you made profit from it that is you spend you actually you spent your time on that thing and you, you you gain from it it brought profit to you but the other on the other hand when you buy a particular commodity or goods and you spend a lot of money on it and customer don't like that particular goods that is when you take the risk of spend your time your effort money and everything on that particular goose you you've lost already then you will be active on this i made it i just made a mistake on this so what will i do next what, what do you think i will do next it's, it's time management you have already learned from that team you have learned a lesson like i said from the beginning you've learned a lesson from that that is the two categories we always fall in during a lifetime as human being one we lose two we gain and from both they are they also have advantage from one of the bad side the, from the bad side you will get to learn from your mistakes you won't have to repeat them again all over again from the next time you'll be an expert on that field and you, you won't fall into that victim so now we have i will give you five things you have to consider first before making plans on time management things you are supposed to consider you have to reason those things first if they can actually work out or if you can put them in the right place before taking them down these are the five things i will actually tell you to consider first before making time management or planning on how to manage your time one your goals two the time available for you to spend on a particular task or activities either during the day, half of a day, or some hours to spend on that day. Then, wastage, avoid, to avoid this detail, thing you have to consider is to stop wasting your time on things that are not profitable. Avoid wasting time on non-profitable activities. Then, the fourth thing you have to consider is the type of environment you are in. Either is a conducive environment, always stable environment for you to 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 achieve your goals or for you to focus on making your plan to work out for you then the fifth activity the fifth thing you have to consider always is the way you implement your goals the the, the kind of techniques used in achieving your goals are you a, are you a diver or a student do you read at night or you read at day these are the things you're supposed to consider when implementing your goals 
as a student. So these are the five things you need to consider. I can actually explain it for you if you want to know more better. So the first thing you have to consider when making time management or planning on how to manage your time is called your goals. What are your goals? What do you plan to achieve within some few weeks? What do you plan to, to get within some few days or within that day if you're either studying or working or saving money for something to buy at the market or online shopping? So let me make an example for you on how I achieve my own goals. This is an example for me. I'm planning to buy a camera, a camera, a handy camera, and also I'm planning to buy a phone. This is what I want to achieve. These are the things I want to get. But first of all, I have limited resources for one. I can only achieve one at a time. These are the two goals I have in mind to achieve. These are the two things I want to achieve. First of all, I will first think of what, which of them will be, will be useful to me most. Which of them will be good enough for me to make use of? First of all, I'll think of the phone. The phone, yes, I can use it to make call and it can serve as a calendar. I can use it to text message. I can use it to go on the internet and find enough resources for me, enough much resources and useful information from the internet. That's for the phone. And the camera, the only camera, wow. I can use that for a video, to make a video like just like this one. It, it will be easier for me to go straight making a video with a camera and it, the, the video will be very bright and be, will feel of high definition. But in the case of shooting between two of them, they, serve, they almost serve the same purpose except for the camera. The camera, it can only take picture and record some video. That's the only thing you can do. But as for the phone, the phone, I can, I can use it to make a phone call and also I can also use it as a camera. It can serve both purposes and more than it can do multi-tax, yes. That is the main reason why I will have to pick the phone as my main target instead of as a first goal. That is why I will have to consider the phone over the handy camera. This will be a great way of planning your goals thinking about your goals, to, the best way to consider your goals. Buying a black shirt, buying a, a red shirt, which one do you prefer? Think about that. The second thing you must consider when planning your time or when making time management. The second thing you always have to put in your mind whenever you are trying to make time management is time available. The time available for you to achieve. The time needed to spend on a particular task to be successful at the end. Whether you like it or not, you must face this. That is time available. To achieve this, you must not spend your time on things that are irrelevant to you. You must not attach another task to one another. You must not do multitask. You must not do two tasks at a time. You must not indulge other tasks to it. And you must always take break. So if you want to be successful when planning your time, that is what they call time availability. Always check your time. You have to stay close to a work clock or you have to pick a wristwatch by your side or have it at your arm always when making a plan on time management or when carrying in tax under time management. The third thing you always have to all you always have to consider when making plan on time management is the environment you are the, the environment is it suitable for you or is it suitable for that task to be carried out successfully or is it the kind of environment that will affect you, affect that task effectively negatively or positively will you be productive will you be successful with that task during the day so let's get to know the kind of environment you are for example you are working as a student on towards your examination and you want to read you want to study you want to be you want to be successful by the end of the exam and what you have to do you always have to study well you have to be prepared well for the exam if you want to be successful by the end of the day the things you have to consider as a student when studying one is the environment full of so many so much noise are the trucks passing by or you need to get to a library that is one number two thing you always have to consider is is there is it well ventilated area for me to study wow 
Will there be friends around you to discuss or family members that will always draw your attention as a distraction? As a distraction for you to study effectively. These are the things you must consider when studying in a particular place or in your classroom. But for other people, if you are to be working from home like this quarantine period now, you, you have to make sure that the kids are satisfied well. If not, you won't carry out your task for that day. You won't be, you won't be successful during that particular time. You have to do is to make sure you are free from loud noise, you are free, you are, your environment is very conducive and there is no one there to distract you. If there is nobody to be working with you, then you are free to go. That environment is well arranged for you to carry out that task. That is what they call 20% of your environment contributing to 100% of your achievement during that day. It is now time for me to drop out the 15 tips you can apply on from any different angles on your daily activities. You can keep on using them and it will turn into your habit if you keep on practicing them and you'll be successful. You will attract 50% out of what you have now of extra time for you to include an additional activities into the one you are doing now so let's write into the 15 tips number one start with the important task start with the most important goal of all the most important tasks of all that if they are all connected to the together you always have to start with the one that leads to the other so when you are starting a task you should always consider if you don't know the one that is very important to you then you should start with the most is the one that is very easy for you the easiest task of all to avoid the, the risk of quitting all of them at the same time if you start with the others you might stop that job without even spending up to some days or hours before carrying out the oath of the task the second tips you should always put into achieving your goals are set your goals the way you set your goals for the first time why i was thinking of making this video i don't know where to start from i don't know how to achieve this or how to make this video successful by the end of the day but all i have in mind it came this video idea it comes as in from my mind i have the, I have the interest in it of making it just about your mindset if you don't have the if you don't have the interest of you of achieving that goal you won't you won't be successful by the end of the day but if you have it from the very start your mindset you always think about that to of achieving it by the end of the day you will surely get it it's just about you to put it that yes i really want to do this and whatever you are trying to do from your mind from from the bottom of your heart you will actually achieve it if you're ready for it the third tip you should always apply to whatever activities you are doing is to set a time limit Always think about the time you have, the time available or how you are going to set it or how you are going to spend the whole day for that task. You don't have just have to dive in without planning or whatever time you are going to spend. It can be 30 minutes, 1 hour or 2 hours or more. But all you have to do is to get a time limit if you want to be. That is the most disciplined way of achieving your goals. Setting a time limit will equally help you. Setting a time limit will make you avoid two mistakes. One, time wastage. Two, spend your time on things that are not relevant. That is what time limit will do for you. Tip number four, you should always consider on applying to all your daily activities is organized, getting organized, getting ready for the daily activities. Just like when we used to go to school, you always have to pack your all your belongings into your bag that you will that will be needed at school. That is how you always have to get ready when achieving your goals. If you have to make use of your laptop, flash drive course to study at home as a goal of achieving a goal towards achieving a goal. Sorry, you always have to get them ready before the next morning. You can equally do that the day before that day or the night before the next morning of as you do it as you win your goal. Get them ready, put them on the table, arrange, make sure everything is well organized and you yourself, you put on your proper clothes you were supposed to put on as usual. That will make you have enough room to achieve your goals. Getting organized, if you are not organized and you are total, that means you are total disorganized. 
And when you totally disorganize what will happen to you, you will waste most useful time that you can use at the end of that day to recall what you have achieved or what you are focusing on or what, or what your target are. That is the time you will waste when you are disorganized. So let's get organized all the time, whatever thing we are trying to do. Tip number five, you should always consider and apply when planning on time management or your daily activities. In what is it? Tip number five, stop being perfect. Don't try to be perfect in all you do. We are human, we all make mistakes. The only person that we, me and you, know that is perfect is God. God is the only person that is perfect. God is the only supreme being that is perfect. We are not, we are human, either animal or robot, they are never perfect because we are made by God. So what you have to do, you don't have to be perfect in everything you do, actually. You always have to focus on what you can do, do your best and leave the rest. If you are trying to do all and get 100% of your total of the total score or you're trying to get 100 percent of everything you want, you are planning to achieve that means if you don't if you are not careful by the end of that day you will waste your energy you will lose the resources you and you are not going to achieve total of what you are planning to achieve never you are not going to achieve them unless you have tried it the first time the second time you keep on failing to get better that is the that is the only thing i can tell you you can be good at and it will help you stop being perfect tip number six don't waste your time don't waste your time on irrelevant talks irrelevant activities or things that won't be benefit at the end of the day if not you will lose hope or focus on the rest of the task tip number seven always take break Whatever thing you are trying to do, you always have to take break. You always have to rest after each task. So you won't stress yourself or at the end of the day, you start feeling headache. How can you take stress? You can move around the room where if you, the place you are reading or change the position of studying. You can equally sleep for some time after doing a lot of tasks or some work. You can equally sleep, get some rest and this will relax the body temperature. Tip number eight, always make use of calendar. If you have a calendar, either a printed calendar or a calendar on your phone or a calendar on your computer, you can make use of it. Mark the days, check out the date you have achieved some things. This will make you figure out how many days you need to achieve the next task in the future. If you are planning on other tasks and this will make you get better managing your time number nine tips eat plenty of fruits and eat healthy food number 10 exercise often do some push up if you're a guy and if you're a girl do some money routine or work at always remember you always have to be early whenever you're planning on achieving your goals the best time to achieve your goals is starting it the time you discover it tip number 12 and 13. Figure out what you are doing, what you are currently doing. Tip number 13. Figure out what you are equally spending your time on right now. Tip number 14. Eliminate distraction. And tip number 15. Stick to the plan. No matter what you are planning to do or you are trying to do, don't give up. Stick to it if it will be productive by the end of the day. Or if whatever whatever you, lesson you will learn from it, if you are to lose or if you are to benefit from it, what you will achieve and what you will gain by the end of the day. I'm about to round up this video now. So I would like to ask you, what do you achieve from this video? What tip do you will you apply or which of them do you think is most suitable for you to apply? Because I believe all this tip I just make sure all the 15 tips I make sure are better for everybody. Either you are in work or whatever kind of work you are doing. Students, teacher, freelancer or online service, whatever you do, it is good for you. You can pick up pick up any of these tips. You can equally make use of any of these tips I have mentioned in this video. So I would like you to tell me on the comments down below. Tell me 
how do you find this video is it interesting did i did something wrong because i'm not perfect remember um we are all human i am not perfect you are not also perfect but we are always trying to do our what we are trying to do our best that is it so i would like you to tell me which of these tips will work better for you drop them down in the comment below and if you have any idea of the next video you like me to put up to you the next topic you can just drop it down below on the down below the comment and you can equally subscribe subscribe to my channel and you will see more of my video coming up very soon on youtube thank you my name is wally and this is enter world closing up this video now see you on the next video stay safe stay cool